Good evening, you beautiful lot out there in Internet World. This is the Tune Review YouTube channel, and tonight it is Fan Forum. Uh, hosting with me tonight is the lovely, sparkling Danielle in her retro Newcastle United top, and we've got the man with all the stats. It's Stato Alex. Good evening, guys. Hello. Hello are we fresh? We are. Now we're ill, Good. but fresh. Well, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, guys, if you do enter the show tonight, as usual, please do hit that like button for us. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to consider subscribing and becoming a member of the Toon Review. The subscribe and join buttons are right next to each other down below. Uh, and also, you can donate to the channel if you do wish. Super chats are available. If you hit that dollar sign right underneath the live comments, that'll take you through to a payment method uh, that way. So thank you in advance for that. A uh, couple of comments before we bring in um, some, uh, well, we've got some some proper Radjis waiting to come on the show tonight, it has to be said. Um, Lee says, uh, Aaron Ramsey has rejected proposals from the proposals from uh, Chris. I don't know why my mic keeps muting, but never mind. Yeah, What's your no, thoughts on thought that, Alex? Mine. On Ramsey or your mic? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Can you hear me, Daniel? Daniel, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you not hear us? I think it's your end, Paul. Um, I think we're I think we're all good. Yeah, we're good. What do you think about Aaron Ramsey then? Uh, I haven't heard that he's rejected any proposal. This this must have been very recently. I, I clearly have around. a dodgy connection. Can you hear yeah. us now, Paul? Well, I can through my laptop, yeah, but it's not coming through my headphones for some stupid reason. Very annoying. Yeah, bear with us. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I haven't heard this news with Ramsey. This must have surfaced in the last few hours because I didn't read that earlier today. Um, I think I saw it about 15 minutes ago or something. Oh, it's um, new, is it? But I don't know if it was an official kind of thing i'd have seen it on twitter so it could mean anything and um, yeah it'd be a bit weird if he's rejected newcastle and wolves because wolves are obviously in a much better position than we are so what what is he what is he wanting if he's rejected mm. both of us because we're a bit odd is he wanting to go back to a top six or apparently crystal palace are still waiting on an answer so could he be going to palace who uh, Ramsey. Ramsey. Well, yeah, uh, mm, I think all the rumours of him coming to Newcastle have currently disappeared into the night sky. Uh, I don't know what's happened with that because his agent was here, then he wasn't, then he was here again, and then he wasn't, and then yeah. suddenly Dominic needs to give him a nudge because he's Welsh, isn't he? Well, he's he's from Newcastle, but also Welsh somehow. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, apparently, two medicals are booked in for Thursday. Interesting. Uh, well. Look, Diego Carlos is is pretty much on his way. I, the, 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 there's no possible way that Sevilla turned this offer down. Um, 
uh, you know, plus the fact that he's asked to leave, I, I genuinely believe that he will be a Newcastle player come uh, come Thursday. Um, so it's it's going to be very very interesting to see what we we'll see what happens with that. The other one, uh, I believe, is Abamyang. So it will be very interesting to see if that actually happens or not. But I do believe the two players that we have medicals for are Carlos and Abamyang. So. Um, that's what I've been led to believe, but here sources have been wrong from time to time. Uh, ah, so that's the way it was. Um, let's have a look. Stephen says some people out there need reminding of where this club was before the 7th of October last year. It's going to take some time, and I've complete faith in Eddie and the owners. Uh, yeah, I agree I've with done that. a video about Eddie Howe today because I'm just sick of people going on about it. It's just absolute crazy. Uh, Brandon says, uh, yes, uh, what I've been waiting for, use three legends. <laughs> Oh, um, thanks, Brandon. Up the mag says, thoughts on what Carlos said. I'm buzzing and hope he's in before the Leeds game. And hi, everybody. How are we doing? Uh, Toon Dave says, evening, everyone in the chat. And Paul, Danielle, and Stato, good to see you again. Uh, who's the two medicals? Well, we think, I've just said who I think they are. Uh, good evening, Susan. Uh, up the mag says, I love you, Alex. Will you marry me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Another one. Very persistent. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, get in, Danielle, with a retro top. Uh, can you pin the link for the membership when you get a minute, please? <laughs> yes, Mercedes, I will. Give me a couple of moments. Uh, right, let's get the retro baits on here. Uh, we've got uh, Louis von der Grassen, Hassen, Passen. Uh, we've got, well, him. Uh, we've got Ryan, uh, we've got Rohan, we've got Dublin Magpie, and we've got Roy. Good evening, people of the world. I'm playing up Good front. <laughs> happy birthday, Dublin. Thank you. Thank yes, you happy very birthday, much. Dublin. Hey, you just know you share your birthday, birthday with the great Peter Beardsley. Ah, well, great things happen on the 18th. <laughs> well, which one the better looking is? <laughs> yeah, definitely Beardsley. Yeah. I had, I had the nose yeah. like Beardsley. Yeah, right. Uh, listen, he could be watching, so beware what you say. Uh, <laughs> because he, he has texted me today, so uh, uh, I did wish him happy birthday as well. So uh, he commented on my other video from today. Mr. Caviani, how are you? Haven't seen you for a while, since you were out partying last week, I believe. Yes, mate, I have. And uh, I've got, I got tested positive yesterday for COVID. Oh, oh no. 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 There's no symptoms though. I've got a bit of a runny nose, but everything else. That's is a fine. symptom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that happened after I was tested. Oh, <laughs> right. uh, I was supposed know. to fly to Dubai, but uh, it's not going to happen now. No. Oh, oh, what a shame! You have to stay in your palace in Qatar. I mean, it's just a, it's a horrible life, isn't it? Well, well, the rules here: you have to be uh, in quarantine for ten days when you test positive. For seven. I'm stuck here. Ten. ten. Oh, ten. Ah. ten days, right. Okay. Yeah. Well, you've, you've got your yeah, fourteen you've got, over here. So well, I'll, I'll you when you're up. quarantined anyway. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at least you've got your butlers to run around, Roy. That's the main thing you can... Yeah. Uh, I've, I've got uh, my Coke Zero here, so that would help. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> well, I've got my Pepsi Max and my coffee, so yeah, rock and roll, like, rock and roll tonight. Oh, has everybody yeah, got yeah. Coke? It looks yeah, like I've it. got Diet Pepsi. <laughs> Agua again. Yes, yeah, we've got stuff. Hydro Homies. Wow, we are so <laughs> rock and roll in this forum tonight. <laughs> The drink is flowing, isn't it? Oh, God. <laughs> it's a Cream soda on me 35th, huh? <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> uh, yes, today is a celebration of 100 days free of Mike Ashley. Uh, remember, it used to be a lot worse than it is now. Would you change back? No. No. Absolutely. Hell no. Not. How can you even ask, ask that? That's a stupid yeah. question, Paul. <laughs> that, there's a Sinclair I, straight away. Hang on. I didn't ask that. That's as bad as Glory, Glory, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Shut your faces, right? It was in the comments. I didn't actually ask that question. <laughs> Jesus, it's Christ. It's Bobby Lashley. Uh, uh, I think... Up, shut up, you hobbit. Listen, right? Up the Mags has a serious infatuation with Alex here, so I, 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 I'm I, sorry, Alex, but, you know, it's what you get for being on, on, on shows. You, you you know, your fame picks up, and, and that's it. Like... um. Evening, Paul, Prince, Princess Danielle and Alex up the tune. What the bloody hell? Sitting there stroking our pussy. I mean, I can't. <laughs> I, I, didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I meant not pussy the, as in not cat. Let's, let's just get that man. understood Kirby now. Or Ronaldo. 
Flaming hell. That's a nice red card. Uh, BNL Duffs, there are lots of transfer rumours. Which ones would you bet on actually coming through? And which ones have we not heard about, but you inside folks may have heard about? Thanks and have a great show. Well, uh, as I said at the start, I, I do believe that the two uh, the, the, the two medicals are going to be uh, for Carlos and Aubameyang. Um Ryan, what do you think of that, if it is those two? Get them in straight away. Like, we're, we're desperate times, desperate measures, so... Do whatever it takes. As Fair Tony enough. Stark said, whatever it takes. Tony bloody Stark. <laughs> Chippers? Big improvements and players that we need in them areas. I mean, Carlos looks a beast and Aubameyang's probably one of the best strikers in the league if he's on his day. So if, we, if, if you'd said to us at the start of the season, we've got a chance to sign him by now, he'd pretty take us. He still has COVID. No, he doesn't. No, he's, he's fine he's now. Flown. He's, he's, he's back, back in the so UK. He have I tell you, uh, he got he it the other day, though. No, 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 no. Dublin, Dublin, <laughs> right. Time goes fast. <laughs> Dublin in Ireland, I realise the time stands still, right? And you know, <laughs> because most of you are drunk, right? But unfortunately, <laughs> over here, right, where we are in in the proper UK of England, right? Um, the UK of England. The proper <laughs> UK of England. The only yeah. UK of Basically, England. That Will you shut your pie hole and listen? <laughs> right? He had COVID. He then had to go for a heart checkup because COVID caused lesions on his heart, apparently, which was a bit distressing for him. Yeah. Uh, but he's now flown back home and he has been given uh, a perfect bill of health. So we believe from the HP and Heinz that we've been told that it could well be Mr. Aubameyang in for the medical. Um, Daddy saw though as well. No. Uh, Mike says, good evening, Paul and Danielle, a.k.a. Malcolm and Alex, a.k.a. Bert. Uh, I really don't understand that, but never. Um, interesting. Uh, easy on the love spamming there. Up the mags. Yeah. Uh, by the way, welcome to Thomas as a new mod. In, uh, welcome to the Tune Review family. He is busy backstage with, uh, I believe, Susan. Uh, Jules. Oh. Yes, Jules is there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's not quizzing. No, she's not quizzing on a Tuesday, no. Um, what's going on with Diego Carlos? Well, we just said that. Um, Louis, what do you think? Uh, uh, I mean, not so much Carlos, but uh, we'll talk about Obama Young first. Is he somebody that would excite you? No, to be honest. Fair um, Why? I don't really like Obama Young. I don't really like him. His attitude stinks to me, in my opinion. Just, I would, I'll, give, I'll give him a punt, but I just think, he, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I'm not sure Do you about not think, It might be an opportunity for Aubameyang to put a few people right and maybe have, you know, he's out of the limelight of London, he's up here, it's, it's for six months probably loan deal with a view to a permanent deal yeah. if things take off for him. Um, but listen, taking a punt for six months on a player like Aubameyang, you know, given the place we're in in the league, it's got to be worth it, surely. Yeah, it's a fair point. I mean, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very rarely wrong. Louis, right? I'm very rarely yeah, I know wrong. You. I know I'm always not. right. <laughs> what about Connor Cody? Very rarely wrong, but always right. Never forget that. Daniel, uh, Rohan, good evening. evening. I'll ask who's in later. Good evening. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. Good, good. Uh, Obama Young for you, yes or no? Uh, I mean, there would be other players I would put ahead, but it seems like an easier <laughs> deal to do, given yeah. it's a loan and he's out of favour. Yeah. But I probably wouldn't sign him permanently because... The, obviously, you've got the problem of he he would want it high wages, but he definitely improves us in the top part of the pitch. And with Wilson out for a long term injury, do you trust Chris Wood to get the goals we need? Probably not. There's a question. There's a question. Um, Dublin Dave, what do you reckon? Obama Young? If he can behave and put a few goals and keep us up. Fair enough. Yeah. Keep him on a long, on a loan, whatever. But yeah. You have to buy him from Keyside and all that. Like. Well, yeah. that's the problem. I mean, would Eddie Howe be able to sort of keep him out of somewhere like that? I don't know. Maybe let him go to Trillions. <laughs> but, uh, trillions, I don't think is a. Well, it's no crocodilos, is it, Roy? <laughs> nah, if he, if, um, if he keeps us up, then I don't mind. Give him a, give him a year. Contract though too. Give him whatever he wants, as long as he keeps us up. Yeah, that's what that's what we need him for now. Uh, uh, Brian I mean, says, Daniel, you're too sexy for that shirt. Too sexy for that shirt. It hurts. 
Okay, thanks. That's a really fierce right to the whole yeah. tournament. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm too sexy. <laughs> <laughs> And so it begins. Go on, finish it. Uh, Ramsey will <laughs> want to play for Vieira. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, Zaha from Palace. No, another ball hugger. Mm, nah, we no. don't need them at the minute. No, no way, no way, no way. No. All eyes um, on me. David says, I think Carlos will be on his way in tomorrow. Uh, Diego Carlos wants to join. Indeed, he does. Um, I don't think Tony can quite spell the Bamiyang. <laughs> Obama block, like yeah. Uh, Craig wants to know what your cat's name is, uh, Danielle. Dipsy. Sorry? Dipsy, like the Teletubby. La la. <laughs> oh. yeah. uh, Foxy says, uh, how much are we paying Carlos a week for him to hand in a transfer <laughs> request? <laughs> Look, he wants to come. Let's 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 just be happy about that. Absolutely. Toon Dave, thanks for becoming a member of the Toon Review. Welcome to the family. I have just pinned, well, I have just posted the link uh, Mercedes, in case you, you know, the, the link is somewhere in the chat. Uh, it's not pinned, oh, yeah. but it's somewhere in there. I think you um, got a lot of mobile users there, Paul. How do you know? You can't look at the membership on mobile, but you go on the computer and you see it right there. It says the join button. Yes, I know, but that's why I put the link in, Ryan. That's what I'm saying. You got a lot of mobile users. They By can't the way, see nice it. spectacles. When did you go blind? Well, it's just glasses for computers, so my eyes don't get red. I got it for oh, yeah. Christmas. You're one of them, are you? Yeah. Great glasses, just to look for. <laughs> uh, Carl says, do you think J7 had anything to do with Diego Carlos? What do you reckon, Alex? He's his best mate. Uh, I mean, he's the only one that speaks <laughs> Portuguese in the squad. Do we have any other Portuguese speakers? Not no. that I know of. No, I, I don't know if there's much of an influence there. I was having a look at that today uh, about what? Uh, previous clubs of our current players and if there's any links um, not really <laughs> they've they all come from not great places to be honest um, I mean he was, a, he was in Vienna um, maybe probably not I, I, I can't imagine they've ever crossed paths Joe Linton's well, never he, played he in Spain he could probably speak so. Spanish because he's been at Sevilla a couple couple years yeah now. I would imagine he can speak Spanish yeah Carlos definitely. Definitely. Portuguese and Spanish are basically the same exactly por favor you know I what I mean about that. exactly of course it is <laughs> I, I used to live in Spain. I can't understand a word of Portuguese. Right, Alex, I'm fluent in both, and I can tell you it's practically the same. Danielle, um, yes. moving on, uh, what do you think about Aubameyang? Would, would he be somebody that would excite you in a black and white shirt? Bring him in. Bring him in tomorrow, immediately. Scotchio. We need to stay up, man. We need to stay yeah. up. Just bring in players that want to come, and if it all goes horribly wrong, and we get relegated, and he's an arsehole, and he's in pop world every day, then... We'll get rid of him at the end of the, uh, the, end of the season, can't we? So Why would that. Aubameyang want to go to Pop World? Well, you might. Chippers goes. Well, Young yeah, ones. because Chippers is a virgin. <laughs> Do I go? <laughs> Listen, Chippers, we, we know about you, mate. We you know about like you. You seem like a type to dance to be rich, so I... Yeah. Oh, uh, I love um, Steps in Club 7, me, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> there you are, Let's then. move on. Uh, still can't believe people want Benitez back. We have Eddie Howe. Let's get behind him. Yeah. Oh, um, my God. I'm sick of seeing that. Mm. Go on, Ryan. Yeah, I'll let yeah. you have your say on it because uh, I've I've done two videos on it now, and yeah. uh, please check them out after the show. But uh, go on. So as soon as I knew uh, Everton were two 0 down in Norwich, I'm like, oh great, here comes the Twitter polls. How in or Benitez in? Yeah. Like, why are we going for him? And my problem I have too is, this is on Rafa's part. If he knew, he knew by heart. He was one of the first managers to know this takeover was going to happen. Why didn't he not just wait an extra two months after his Chinese club? managerial appointment just to come because if he was available i would i'd take him but he was at everton like like even when when we just got taken over like really the most realistic thing was to get a free agent manager and he was at everton at the time and his boat sailed for me already so we've had our three years with him and he had the opportunity to wait nope but things move fast in football we gotta move forward yeah uh roy what's your thoughts on that yeah, I totally agree. I mean, imagine if, if Rafa took over instead of Eddie Howe. Would would the results be any different with that squad? I don't think so. Uh, no. The football was shit anyway when he was there. And I mean, remember we had um, nine or ten games a couple of years ago. We, we, we couldn't win. Beginning of one, I think it's 2018. Mm -hmm. Football was shit, but somehow the fans are behind him. The results start to come. And it'll just be the same exactly. Yeah. 
Uh, Danielle, um, I know you're a big fan of Mr. Rafa, uh, but wh where do you stand at the minute? No, I don't want him back. Um, I think that he made his choice, and yeah. therefore that's that. We've moved on now. I don't think I think he's very much still interested in managing. Um, I don't think he would be interested in kind of a director of football, um, and I don't think Eddie Howe would be that up for working with Rafa. I don't know that relationship. I'm struggling to see to... who Rafa goes to now as a manager. I'm I'm struggling to think of anybody yeah. that will take him on because I think he's done. Nowhere I'll close to well. home. He's probably got somewhere in Spain, probably like a mid table. Yeah, club, I think you'll find mid table Spain, possibly. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Italy, had, probably as well. He's, I had he's rumors he's coming to Qatar as well. Qatar, mm. yeah. I wonder why that would be, Roy. Have you any, <laughs> any idea why he would go to Qatar? No, no idea, but it doesn't no. make sense because the club he was linked with is the same club that uh, James Rodriguez went to, and Rafa got rid of him. And oh, God. Yeah. Imagine if those two link up again. Yeah. Infantino just moved to Qatar as well, didn't he last week? I, I don't yes. know why. I, well, I mean, I'm struggling. To, I'm struggling to think of a reason. A I mean, I, I, I mean, I know Rafa <laughs> went to Rafa went, Rafa went to China to transform Chinese football. That's the only reason I can think of why he went over there, um, and that's the same reason I can only possibly believe he would go to Qatar. To revolutionise just Qatar to try and, football. Yeah, right, honestly, yeah. you know, if people can't work out that, that this man is now. Nothing to do with Newcastle. I, I, I just. We'll go to Spain or manage somewhere in South America or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe uh, Valencia. He could Ooh. go back there. Yeah. Uh, yeah Rossi maybe. says Diego Carlos putting a transfer request in, leaving Sevilla second in league, still Champions League. He's an absolute psychopath. Give him the armband. <laughs> I want to give the armband. That someone today. doesn't speak English. <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Does uh, d uh, well. There's an interesting centre back, Carlos and Fernandez. Mm. Yeah, South yeah, American should be back duo. Soon. Oh no, I I I like the South American players a lot because they got a lot of fight in them. I find. Hang on, where is yeah. Carlos from? He's Brazilian, isn't he? He's Brazilian, yeah. Yeah. A lot of Brazilians speak Spanish, by the way. Can I just point that out? Yeah, oh, Thiago Silva I, I, came in and Captain uh, Chelsea as well I couldn't speak, speak English. Yeah, but yeah. we're all on about speaking bloody Portuguese. A lot of Brazil speak Spanish. Do yeah, they? well, I said earlier, it's basically the same two languages. Of course it is. As I say, I'm fluent in both. Um, mm. uh, <laughs> Brian doesn't want Aubameyang. He's a user. Uh, Julie says happy birthday to our Dublin Dave. Uh, you, Susan Julie. did say happy birthday to you as well before. I think nice. I missed that comment, though. Uh, Stu said, I will be happy with Diego Carlos. The bloke looks like an animal, strong and no pushover. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Get him in. <laughs> Gary yeah. says, uh, hi, guys. Is it right that this £25 million pound plus for Duvan Zapata from I Italy has been set on the table to test this club and see if they're, uh, they will accept? I don't believe mm. that they'll accept that, but the conversations are ongoing. Yeah. Uh, will Carlos bit, need a work permit? Bit. Oh, I don't think there'll be an issue with Carlos's work permit, mm -hmm. to be honest. I think that'll go straight through. Yeah, I think international um, caps get an easier process, yeah, don't they? Do. Yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah. Thank God for that. Uh, yeah. Uh, Geordie Tune for Life says, careful, Alex, it could be John Sinclair. Or right? Bobby Lance. Trying to chat you, you wouldn't, If it was John Sinclair, you wouldn't call him Alex, you'd call him Alan. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Aubameyang refused to join the Arsenal squad for their match with Aston Villa. I don't know, but I, he doesn't want to be at Arsenal. And Ars I don't think Arteta wants him either. So, uh, uh, Carlos, best defender in Spain, going to look across and see Lascelles and think I've got two jobs to do. Um, Jake, good evening. Evening, guys. Every defender has mistakes in them. Carlos is a big step over what you've got as uh, as his trip here. Much better on the ball as well. We'll get a tax rolling much quicker. That's what look, we need. I'm sorry, but if Carlos is going well, to an injury, fair enough, need. but he's a lot stronger. Sorry, who was that? Rowan? Uh, Rowan. Uh, he's quick as well, so like we've been dying for pace at the back line. Like Jamal Lascelles is so slow, Cher mm -hmm. is always out of position and he's so slow. Fernandez, he's he's smart, but he he hasn't got the legs to keep up with all the fast attackers. And you know, I don't want to say the other one's name because he's that bad. So yeah, <laughs> uh, Ben says, do you think we'll get a midfielder in by Leeds? No. Uh, nah. That's the one area that I worry about when we <laughs> when we take on Leeds on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, Chippers, uh, you know, if we get Carlos in for Saturday, that'll be an absolute bonus. Um, but I think everybody needs, well, everybody realizes that we need a midfielder in. 
all big time. It's we cut. I mean, Sho Long stuff's just non-existent in that midfield, and Shelby Fowler, he has improved Saturday. I, I just thought again, he was the, the midfield was lethargic and pedestrian. Like I thought there was no urgency in that midfield. I thought there was no no one wanted to take control of the game. I thought we we'll lack that sort of box to box player that's able to pick the ball from defence and go at them. And I just think that's like so important for us because of how little ball retention we have up front. I mean. Obviously, Woods in now to take the pressure off, but yeah. before that, it was just keep going back to the defence, back to the defence. I mean, our defence is shite as it is, so it's, we need that person that can just take the ball and just run. And, yeah. Like, in that big thing. The thing is against uh, Watford, too, it, was way, it seemed too, way too predictable. Like, it was just give the ball to our wingers and, well, for Fraser to cross in and ASM to cut inside all the time. ASM, this guy, every time he cuts in, he kills our attacks. Just put him apart from when he scores, which is like one in twenty-five yeah. efforts. I forgot who said, but he's literally hot and cold. Like, it took a while for me to hear that, but yeah, it's so true about him. Yeah. Uh, Sean says uh, John hit the one hundred likes mark before. Uh, what would you like me to do, Sean? Run naked down the street in celebration? <laughs> um, Man United town. I'll sleep so much better knowing that, matey. Thank you. Uh, no, Stephen says he's Saturday, United too. Well, Council, didn't it? Yeah, he had to change it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. he's, now part, he's now part of the Man United family, remember? Um, even yes. Man United yeah. fans are tweeting him yeah. out within the family. Uh, but don't worry. <laughs> uh, don't worry. The next Horseman show, there is a new judge taking over. Um, he's uh, called Baron Jock Loch Ness. So he will be taking over uh, the next trial of John Sinclair. So uh, <laughs> I'm interested to see if he goes the same way as uh, Baron Von Sausageburger did yesterday. But uh, only time will tell. Uh, Zapata would be a, uh, an amazing signing. I don't know much about him. Um, Alex, anything on him? Um, yeah, so he's been integral to Palanta for quite a long time now. Um, lots of Champions League performances, very well in Serie A. Um, he is knocking on a little bit now. He's uh, 30, he's very close to 31 years old. Uh, very good goals and assists every single season. Six Champions League starts this year, nine goals in Serie A. His, his stats are great, 99th percentile for progressive passes, touching in the uh, opposition's penalty area, carries. He's just great. He, he would be he would be insane. Um, he was what he he now is what Aubameyang was two years ago. Um, mm -hmm. uh, he's yeah. I, I I feel like the sort of prices that we're throwing at Atalanta are an insult. When you think that Chris Wood cost, I know I understand it was potentially a release clause, but when you weigh Zapata and Wood up, it's it's night and day. He is like Champions League week in week out. He's a quality player. <laughs> It'd be a massive upgrade. Yeah. What about? Um, I mean, there's a lot of people saying in the in the comments about Hazard today, saying that you know Madrid have rejected a a huge forty odd million pound bid from from us. I'm not interested in Eden Hazard. I don't know about anybody else, but I think he's crocked. Uh, they, he's way overweight for a start. He's not they, played a lot. They accepted, the, they accepted the bid, but he he refused. Well, whatever we, it might, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, I hope he does I refuse because yeah. I, I don't want to see him anywhere near our team at the minute. Um, he's not going to he's he's not going to come into straight into our team for a relegation battle when he's overweight and injured half the time. No. Um, and the start he's won't help if we get up to up to Newcastle. Yeah, I'd like to see us throw forty million euros at a midfielder instead of marquee. Has well, how about wingers. we go for uh, uh, Torgan Hazard instead of Eden? I, I would much yeah. prefer that, to be fair. Uh, he's certainly a better player at the minute. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But a, a, again, you know, I mean, it's nice to see us putting these bids in for these huge players, but uh, there's no guarantee that they're going to come. But it's going to be it's going to be absolutely crazy. And Mike says there, the last two weeks of this transfer window are going to be mental, and and they will because we'll be. You know, for for once, Newcastle United will be playing a major part all the way up till the deadline hits, uh, which is very strange. Day will be great. Like. It will. Yeah. Um, Danielle and Alex, I hope you're ready for a long haul on deadline day. <laughs> Ten hour stream. Well, I wouldn't say that much. I mean, they, you know, they, they've got they've uh, Danielle's got got well, a job. What what yeah. day is deadline? Isn't, isn't day? deadline that... isn't isn't it on the team? On a Monday. Second. Yeah. Monday. On a Monday. Yeah, it is. It's oh. a four horsemen. <clears throat> well, that, the, the four horsemen won't be happening on that day because we'll be hundred uh, percent on football. So, um, swap the well, deal. Four horsemen just interrupts it for a little while, and then we go back. But we'll see what happens. 
Um, Sean says, uh, Ronaldo would be in meltdown at you lot with the corks. He would actually, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God, Listen. yeah. Uh, Andy says, get on the brandy like Pete from Lauded. Um, I, I see, brandy doesn't really appeal to me. Um, I, um, are there sponsors for Paul Shaw today, Coca Cola? <laughs> uh, no, but I have a, I, you know, I've just realised how much of a shout out we did give to various um, sparkling drinks, shall we say, companies. Um, Double Magpie, put that down. <laughs> <laughs> Coca Cola, Pepsi Max, Bar, Bar. what, are, what are that bloody one pound drink of shit he's drinking? It's gorgeous. Um, <laughs> yeah, there you go. If you can yeah. say the Polish water bottle brand, it's like our next player. Nasla Kalajaski. I'm not even going to attempt it. Uh, DJL Float says people need to understand too that we are not signing players to win us the league. We are signing players to keep us up in the Premiership. That's One step true. at a time, we will get there. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, a lot of people Indeed. are saying that. Aren't they? Do, you, do you think though, um, Danielle, that the, the, the patience is just? Something Newcastle United fans don't currently have? I definitely don't have it. I was depressed this morning. I was in a right mood. Because I just thought that that's it. Like, we're not going to. I heard rumours that Carlos was definitely off. Um, and I just thought, well, we're going to go into Leeds with nothing new, um, get bad. But this afternoon, since this has all come out about him putting in a transfer request and really wanting to come here, then. Yeah, we are impatient because we've had nothing for 14 years and now we're the richest club in the world um, and we're in this horrible position that we don't want to be in and as much as people say, oh, we probably should get relegated to come back up, I absolutely don't want to get relegated and it is going to be painful. So mm -hmm. I think we just need to throw everything that we've got and good on the owners, good on them. They're clearly doing everything that they can, so back them 100%. Yeah. Um, Louis, Eki Teki. It's gone all quiet. Um, oh, he's, it doesn't... Well, the fact that it's gone quiet could possibly be a good thing, Louis. Yeah? I mean, I, I just get it. If it, it's, it's all gone quiet, I mean, he's a good player. Get him in, um, if we can. I mean, yeah. It's, it's, it's simple thing. Simple. Get Eki in, get all these good players in. I'll give a punt on a Bamiyang. Just anything that will keep us up in the league. We shouldn't uh, have any worries with Ekateke because Adam Pearson called him the next Mbappe. Oh, oh right. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't subscribe to all this bollocks about uh, oh, he's I the know, next I know touch either. and such. I, it does my head in, to be honest. Same. You know, it puts more pressure on player is different. Yeah. It, it does put more pressure on them, yes. And I, I think, you know, but he's his own player. Ekateke. Yeah. <laughs> That's how. See, see how Ryan says it all posh, but you know, when he comes to Newcastle, everyone's going to know him as Eki Teki. So yeah, you'll need to start Eki getting Eki. used to that, Ryan. Eki Teki. Um, Eki Teki, yeah. like Eki Teki, man. Uh, hi, Paul. What makes you think it's Aubameyang as the second medical? Do you know something, or is it just a guess? It's not a guess, mate. I've been informed uh, by HP and Heinz, uh, current Daddy. sources, but obviously I won't reveal who they are because they give us a lot of information. Sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. But here. Wait, Heinz? It, it's, a it's a talking point. Sorry, Al uh, Ryan? Heinz? Yeah. Heinz? Heinz ketchup? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sauce. Sauce. Sauces. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You, you can tell he's posh, isn't he? Yeah. That's a Sinclair right there, there, like. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can't stop laughing about last night. I don't know what happened. I, I didn't see the first part of it. Somebody took me place. Uh, Ober would get us 10 goals plus. Uh, Gary says, also, I've heard Sven Botman wants to join Newcastle, which I think that will depend on their side. Look, I wouldn't be too keen on, uh, I wouldn't be too optimistic on Botman at the minute. Um, I still believe that's going right down to a to deadline day. Um, it'll be very, very interesting to see uh, come deadline day and the, the and Big Ben going chime, chime, chime is if uh, to see whether Botman is a Newcastle United player. Uh, Roy, any thoughts on Botman? Do you think he'll still sign? No, I think if we get Carlos, then uh, we'll we'll start looking for somebody in the middle. I don't think we'll sign both of them. Um, it, but he does come. Uh, that's an extra bonus. Because you already got... Uh, um, you're thinking about not, who's going to be uh, Carlos's partner in defence. So far, it'll be Fabian Shea. 
I'll drop the cells. But if you get Botman, then those will be good. But it's going to take time to gel as well. You can't just, it's not PlayStation, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not FIFA it crew mode. Time. Yeah, yeah so I, I, it, it takes time. I think um, the, the certain uh, videos that I've watched, I think, Jesus Christ, they're actually going off what they're doing on FIFA and not in real life. <laughs> no. Um I don't know. Uh, uh, Ryan says, uh, perfect bill of health, load of bollocks, or he would have went back to play AFCON. Not necessarily, mate. He had to come home to get further checks, but he's not going back out there. But li listen, why would a doctor give him a clean bill of health and then him not have a clean bill of health? It wouldn't make any sense. So, uh, Will says, do you think if we get Obama Young, he would play straight away? He wasn't training with Arsenal before the AFCON. I think he'd be on the bench. Um, yeah, I, I don't think. Yeah. Um, I don't think we know his condition, do we? It depends. Exactly, that's the problem. I mean, he'd, he'd have, obviously have to have a medical with us, so if he passed the medical, then surely he'd be fit. Because I'm sure Newcastle will know the problems that he's had with COVID uh, and the after effects of it. So, you know, they are going to thoroughly give him a medical if it indeed is a Bamiyang that's coming. I mean, it could yeah. be Eki Teki. If it is. And we're only going to have him at the end of the season, then surely we're not going to bring him in if he's not fit, because we're not going to yeah. pay him to sit on the bench, are we? Right. Well, I wouldn't have thought so. No. Uh, no. I think that would be extremely silly if we did that. Yes. Um, George says Ober is a lost cause. Oh, we can't say that. Cause oh. he comes in and, if he comes in and scores ten goals, I mean, listen. I said this on my show <laughs> earlier today, right? In the summer, if someone told you that. Aubameyang had had a fallen out with Arsenal and there was a chance of Newcastle United signing them in the January transfer window, you would have laughed your head off because we were in yeah. no position to get anywhere near names like Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. And now look, yeah. and then people still are turning around and going, oh, well, I don't want him, I don't want him. I mean, Jesus Christ. I, I, I'm sorry, but I don't understand that. They're looking at the the people expect us to manage with, with, with Chris Wood and Dwight Gale with Calmus now for the last six weeks. So they expect us just yep. to manage with them too. Really. Uh, exactly. Will Maximan ever be as good as he was under Bruce? Right. Who wants to answer that? Who wants to have a little oh, bit of a do. rant? Hot potato. I would. I would oh, I'll take a run. We'll do. <laughs> no, I, I, think we need to, I think we need to start with Danielle on this one. ASM, uh, well, do you know what it is, right? I was fuming on Saturday, first half. I thought it was absolutely shocking. I vented on Twitter, probably shouldn't have done it because then it was retreated after the goal and actually got trolled for it, but never mind. Um, I don't know what it is about him. We need to bring in, at some point, someone to challenge him for his position because... Exactly, yes. Eddie Howe is, is, is exactly the same thing that he's done with Shelby. He's just blown smoke up his backside to say, you are the man, you are the man. So, you know, Willie, I don't know. I, I just think he needs to get whatever idea he's got in his brain that he's the best of the best and start playing for this bloody team. Because I tell you now, at the end of the season, if we get relegated, we ain't going to have teams banging on my door to get him. So mm. the teams aren't banging on my door now. Um, well, I've never seen one team link with them yet. No, and no. I, you know what? I love Saint. I really do. And you know, when he when he's got when he when he's up for it, and you can tell he's up for it. it he's exciting to watch, but then that's a frustrating part because it's getting less and less, and it's getting smaller flashes in a game. And I'm just sick of seeing him like sitting on his backside, man. Just get up. We're in yeah. a relegation battle. We need every second in the match. To get what we need to get done, done. Um, this comment from Jason is exactly what I'm talking about. No. Eddie no. Howe next to get the sack. Rafa Benitez incoming. No. Why no. would they sack Eddie Howe? There is no way we will sack Eddie Howe. No. And I'm sorry, but Jason, tell me, tell me what is so great about Rafa? What, what, what would Rafa do coming back here? What? In what way do you have any confidence in Rafa Benitez now after his performances in China and at Everton? In China, he went to a team with with who were like so rich. Listen, they were bathing, they were having after match baths in money, right? But now he suddenly took them to the bottom of the league. And with Everton, he's made some signings over the summer. He's had a full preseason with them. And he's took them to near the bottom of the league. What gives you the confidence that Rafa would come in and take over a bunch of players who are 
championship level or past it anyway. They're not the same players they were when he was here last time. So th there's no way they'd be any better now. I, I just do not get it. Um, Brian says uh, he can do what he wants outside. It's his life, but on the pitch, that's the only time I'll judge him. Um, and Oh, there is the link for the membership, by the way. Uh, Jordy D says, I think a club like us would be perfect for Obama Yang. Uh, what you lot need is some local lads in the team showing some passion and pride in the shirt yeah, uh, up the villa. Um, well, yeah, you're doing mm. particularly well at the minute, Mr. Villa. Um, look, there's, there's no kids that could really come in at the minute uh, and, and transform this, Alex, is there? There's nobody really that stands out. I mean, we do have two Geordies in the starting 11 from well, in the Watford starting 11 for Dummett and Longstaff. But yeah. um, in terms of youngsters, I mean, we played well the other night. In the um, it, well, it was one of the I can't remember the name of the cup, yeah. the youth cup. But in terms of it, it, it really does feel like our academy players are that step between our academy and our first team is much is much greater than it seems to be in other clubs. Um, so I'm hoping that's something that's going to be addressed by the new owners over the years. But um, we've really struggled for youngsters, apart from the long staffs. Trying to make that next step has been a real, real struggle. And it's not that they weren't good enough either, because a lot of them have left and gone on to become first team regulars in championship yeah. sides and now are the Premier League sides. So it's not that they weren't good enough, it's that there's no route to the first team and that needs to be addressed definitely in the long term. Mm -hmm. um, Rowan, uh, serious question, but what do you guys think is going on with Willick? I think he's got a heart, I think he's got his heart broken. That's what I think. He's got I his think heart he's just broken. Yeah, yeah I woman. think. I think it's a lady. Oh, Ron, what That's do you what reckon? I think. <laughs> I think it's Johnson Clare. Well, I don't know. <laughs> he put something out on. <laughs> he put something out on his Twitter. It was weird. It was like loads of like random letters in a row. I don't know what that was about. Oh, there back. was the Reese Nelson article, wasn't there today? That he cried when Willock left because his locker was next to Willock's locker. No, they were. Aww. Yeah. You big fucking softy. <laughs> Maybe he's homesick. I don't know. Um, he's a slap. Just... We've got somebody in the green room, SCCC, but you've got no devices connected to come on the show, mate. You've got no mic or camera connected, so I can't bring you on. Um, so if you've got a mic or a camera, I would switch it on, or otherwise I can't get you on. Um... Craig says, Eddie has kept Shelby in line so far, so no reason to think he couldn't do it with Aubameyang. Shelby's not the same as Aubameyang. No, I don't. Yeah, I, yeah. Aubameyang's got like 12 Lamborghinis, all this kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> you know, he, he wears his chains like B.A. Barakas off the pitch. A completely just different like character. A, Shelby was just like a motivation. Like... Well, but, yeah. Um, Thomas says, I realise it's not the Four Horsemen, but I want to hear Dublin Dave singing the I'm Too Sexy song. <laughs> no, that's not happening. You, you couldn't pay me enough. No. Well, I was already uh, doing it earlier on. Yeah. Uh, I've never been a fan of a bummy youngster, Stu. Uh, not sure about him, but I suppose a loan deal would be okay. Um, Alan Thompson says, uh, lads, I would take over in a heartbeat for six months. Attitude stinks. Uh, but surely with all the bad press, he will have something to prove. It's a no-brainer for me. Is he better than Gail? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, look... It, Aubameyang signs is better than anyone we've got, Louis. Yeah, girl shit. Um, we should need to go back to the championship. I mean, he's not Premier League quality. Yeah. Um, Aubameyang's way, way, way up there, even though I don't like him. Um, so, yeah, just Gail needs to be transferred either free or just down at the championship. You know, that's that's his quality. He's not never going to get better than that. His time at Newcastle's done. Yeah. Right, what, what, what do you... I mean, Aubameyang coming in, I mean, surely he would score goals, no matter what, what reputation he has off the pitch. Um, but it's yeah. it's all about providing him again. And Would he get enough ammunition? Well, that's that's the big problem because um, Longstaff was uh, non-existent in both games, in the Cup game and the uh, last game. So I, I think he, he's one of the big problems we've got in the team. Plus, we've got wood and there's no service. So, we've got wood and there's nobody crossing the ball to him. Um, Trippier had few in the first half. Um, Maximan can't expect anything from him. Um, and then Wood's just standing there, playing with 10 men. It, it, was, it, it just reminded me of uh, Andy Carroll last year. 
he would yeah. come on and he's not getting a ball in the box. So we could, we could have just kept Andy Carroll instead of uh, buying Wood because they're doing exactly the same thing. Not getting a ball and just running around. So we'll see yeah, what happens. Good point, yeah. But, um, yeah. Mick says there, 120k a week for Carlos, apparently. Also, Alfonso Lucario is the person who said Ramsey rejected us uh, and he's been pretty spot on so far. Um, look, it's I think... Bottom line, I think uh, Aaron Ramsey will go to Palace. I think he'll link up with Vieira, and I think... Yeah. Uh, then crack it, on, it, it, I see. Well, yeah, it's a London please. move for him. It's pretty easy for him, isn't it? Exactly. So predictable. Well, that's a good point. Uh, Put him yeah. on the list, so that when he comes crying, when we're, we're doing better, he's you not a, Are you making a list, Danielle? Yeah, there's like a some, list. Some sort of hitman list here. All these <laughs> idiot players who don't yeah, want to come no. to us, they're all going on the list. So when they come wow. crying... When the career's failing, they're like, oh, please, Mandy, please, can I get in your team? We'll be like, do one. Yeah. Well, I and clubs that won't day. work with us as well. Van Beek be on exactly, the list. them as well. Them as well. Would Van der Beek be on the list? Yeah. Yes, yes. he's on the list. Uh, Listen, yeah, what, yeah. what was his excuse? Van he, just, he didn't want to go in the relegation fight, but he yeah. was alone, so it That's made no alone. difference yeah. anyway. His, Listen, his argument this, didn't this make guy, sense. This guy has just proved what a toss pot he is, right? And NBA. I, yeah, monumental bell end, yeah. and the reason for that is that this guy seemingly doesn't want to play first team football, despite the fact where we are in the league. He'd play first team football with a World Cup year, right? He yeah. doesn't want to play it. He wants to sit in his ass at Manchester United. I find that utterly pathetic because let's Same. see, Chelsea aren't going to come in for him. Liverpool aren't going to want him. Man City certainly won't want him. So where's he going to go? Because he's getting no no offers from Europe. He has a chance. Yeah. To... Doesn't make sense become really something special at Newcastle he and will, he can't he see the bigger picture. Yeah, but he I, could I still, if he scored 10 now, and we still went down, yeah, just put he'd get in, in his national team. Window, like, yeah. It doesn't matter who you play for. Just put yourself, like, you're playing in the Premier League, best league in the world. If you do well for six months, even if we go down, you're going to get a move elsewhere yeah, and you're exactly. still going to be paid on the same wages because he's only alone. Like, it's just pretty stupid from him, but... It's yeah. a Man United player. They pay ridiculous wages. That's why they just want to stay there. Uh, there's another one, Origi. He doesn't oh. want to come either. He's uh, on the he list wants as to well. stay and sit in his ass. Mm -hmm. Just annoying. Uh, Gary says uh, Mexican, Spain, Portuguese, Brazilian all speak a Spanish language, but in different dialects. Thank you, Gary. And like I say, I'm fluent in it all. Um, with Fernandez <sighs> back in training, will we be stable enough in defence to survive? If he starts him, mm, yeah. if he plays him, he was pretty crucial last season. To be honest, yeah, too. Yeah, Remember uh, his game against Palace away, man. Holy crap, he put in a performance. Oh yeah. Um, I'd just like to say that I think Tony is either smoking something extremely strong tonight, <laughs> or he's hammered. I guess just because he's called Tony, he likes him. Yeah, maybe. Build Tony our Pulis. dynasty. <laughs> Listen, I'd rather have oh, Blake Chad. Carrington to build our dynasty. See what I did there. See what I did there. That's See it. what I did there. That's All of the youngsters wanted to play classic. what I'm really talking about. Yeah. Well, what can I just ask you something? Um, did, did you know someone called Chris or Gris off NUFC Matters? The Loaded? Quick yes. Chris. Yeah, he's passed away apparently. It's just on. Never. Twitter. He's passed away. Yeah, yeah hi. He's passed away apparently. He's, on, like, he's passed away. What? Sake. Oh, it's tragic, man. Honestly, I think it was forty two, I think. On, man. I've just seen it on Twitter. He's passed away. Wait, wait the Scouse guy? No, he's, he's no. um he was no, he's he's like Greek American. The, uh, the American, American yeah. yeah. Oh no way, man. Jesus, man. What is going on? Honestly, twenty twenty two can kiss my ass so far this year, like it really can. Uh I don't know. Horrible news. Thoughts no to his way, family. That... Oh, him. No way. Yeah. Oh. Damn it, man. Unbelievable. Just. My, I don't know I what's just want to say my thoughts are with Steve and NUFC matters yeah, and definitely. Loaded yeah. Boys yeah. and everybody that was friends with him because he was a lovely, lovely guy. Like He was. He actually sat on my table at. Um... God, there's two in a month, man. What's happening? Steve's do. I know. Um, by the way, um, Dave Harrison's funeral will be taking place on uh, Wednesday, the 2nd of February, 12 o'clock. Um, friends and family are all invited, I do believe. And also, the uh, there will be a wake for Dave at uh, 
straight after the the funeral um i have been asked to make a speech at the funeral which i have said i would do um so i think you're going aren't you daniel i've always got your yeah, back yeah, man you yeah, know that yeah. somebody needs to um so i think i think susan will be going with me as well i haven't, mm-hmm. I haven't checked yet but uh, he's coming as well so yeah there'll be loads of people there as well i think just even even who can't even get in they'll still be paying respect and i think there's also i think it's on his memorial page that there's going to be a live stream yes. as well for people, who, for yeah. people who can't make it um yeah. for whatever reason then yeah. everybody's welcome to kind of watch from home or <laughs> wherever you are um but yeah don't worry paul i've got you thank you um Saudi um, Mind has joined us. Good Saudi evening. Saudi Mind has joined us. Good evening. Oh, yes, good evening. Go. Go. Uh, have you still uh, got YouTube on? Have you still got YouTube on? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, You're echoing. You're echoing. You're echoing. Ah, uh, uh, just a second. Just a second. Are you back? Hello. Right. Hey, on, on Twitter, there's a sports we'll let him journalist sort that out that's saying uh, about Carlos. They're saying that uh, the club are close to agreeing a four-year deal with him from Nicola Shira on Twitter. Yeah, four years, is it's a good contract to get him on, to be honest, because there's obviously going to be some kind of dealings with, uh, with, with relegation clauses and things like that. Um, so, yeah, it'll, it'll be very interesting to see what happens with that. Um, Peter, good evening from the caravan. <laughs> How are you all? Not too bad. Um, what's your thoughts on Carlos just about to sign then? Absolutely delighted. Well, this position needs sorting out, doesn't it? Massively. I mean, yeah. again, our defence is just rotten in the, and to bring a good, decent <coughs> centre-back in is going to be brilliant. And he wants the move as well, which will, he, it's just good. So it looks like this is definitely going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there is a player that has been linked to us uh, this evening, actually, that we put a cheeky loan bid in for uh, um, Mr. Shaw at, West, uh, at uh, no. Manchester United. Luke Shaw? Luke what? Luke Shaw. Really? Luke Shaw. Oh, oh shit. cheeky bid. That's not happening. <laughs> no way. What, you wouldn't take him? Oh, no, I'm what? saying it won't happen, but yeah, I would. Oh, Why would you? I was going to say I wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't. Sure. Why wouldn't you touch him? We've got to it, man. Like, come on. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. I, I mean, he's better you're... covered than Richie, surely. Dave, why yeah, wouldn't you take uh... him? Why wouldn't you take Luke Shaw? I can't stand them. I just. I don't give a shit if you can't stand him. <laughs> it's his football <laughs> capabilities, not how you feel about him. <laughs> come on, Dave. What is it? He'll get too fond of the fucking studies up there and he'll get fired again. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same guy that rolled through our midfield. At oh my remember that. God! He's better, way better than what Dave, we've got. Dave, are you actually? Uh, are you? Is the best left back in the you... country? Mm, not the I, moment, but so you're telling me you would rather have either Paul Dummett or Matt Ritchie at left back than what you would have Luke Shaw? No, get someone else. I don't want anyone off fucking United. Like. <laughs> but he wouldn't be United if we got him to Newcastle. Oh, well, what did he just, well, did he he just say that he was United. saying Claire? Oh. Yeah, he just, just called him United. Phil Jones. Potential sign. You just called Man United United, Dave. He's had some more toad he's been having. And that's the yellow card. While he's sitting in the sin bin, Saudi mind, good evening. Hello, Hello everybody, good evening. Yes, you're there. How are you doing? Oh, great. And what's How your thoughts everybody? on uh, what's going on at Newcastle right now? Um, all I'm saying, uh, those uh, uh, the transfer window right now, I think it's uh, half of the choices is by Eddie Howe, mm-hmm. and there are some also another influence from the management from. Uh, uh, the owners, right? Because I, I don't know. I mean, uh, if if you gonna if you're going, I think BIF and the rest of the owners are. They don't uh, try to be like uh, 
rest of they don't want to push uh, uh, sorry they pay a lot of money they know that there are a lot of uh, clubs want to raise the prices yeah so um, they will take a little bit risk they will buy some players if they are going to stay in the Premier League this year fine for them if they can't at least they're gonna build for the future i i for me i don't see signs from the let's say from the bif that uh, willing to uh, invest in a lot in the beginning um because the, nobody will come as as a new cousin now are uh, fighting for uh, uh in the regulation uh, zone right now, mm -hmm. nobody want to come and see the situation. It will be bad drip for uh, some players. Yeah. If the Nicholas is uh, regulated. So uh, I think uh, some uh, player, players are seeing this as a risky. Mm -hmm. um, so I think they want players who want to join. And if they going, uh, uh, getting, regu getting regulated, they're gonna stay there with the club. Um, so what kind of, what kind, of play, what kind of players do you think the, the the actual owners are looking at to get in this month? Uh, mostly, mostly like uh, um, now, Chris Wood is good. He will stay even if. Newcastle went to the championship. Mm -hmm. um, many players will stay there. They know that they are. This is their level. Okay. So, um, but I believe if they bring some, I think Newcastle need midfielders. I don't see a lot of plays in the midfield. The creative midfielders, you know, who can pass to the, uh, who can create uh, chances. To, yeah. uh, so this is one of the things that I see. Almost you play. Sometimes I see they play some old school uh, English football, yeah. like uh, just crosses, and that's it. Uh, ASM, ASM becoming uh, very. Uh, I don't know. Uh, he predictable. Yeah, predictable and show off a lot. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I heard Alan Schiller was talking about just. Be uh, be a positive player. Like try to create chances, not to do your uh, tricks and stuff. What, what I mean, uh, talking about ASM. I mean, what, what what do you really think of him? I mean, is he just a flash pony? Uh, I think if he he would be more uh, uh, dangerous if he uh, went. Um, uh in the midfield like mm -hmm. he going from the left directly to the midfield like a uh, left midfielder not going not winger so i think it's he will be more riskier than very true this is what i believe um, yeah 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 um it's an interesting point i mean roy i mean is it a case that the owners have got a big shock here and uh, you know that the, they've had to sort of I don't know, like have a, a rethink about who they're trying to get in this transfer window because obviously we now need players who are going to get us out of the relegation zone and we can't go for these, you know, I, I know we're signing or hopefully signing Carlos, but, you know, the, the signing of Wood, um, who else we're looking at, the rumours, you know, players that are going to put the effort in to get us out of relegation and just concentrate on the next six months ahead. Yeah, if you've got uh, uh, Trippier and Wood, they'll definitely stay if we go down. But if you go get, I'm not sure about Carlos. There might be something in his contract that if mm -hmm. we get relegated, he can go. I think the whole team, if we if we do go down with this current squad, uh, we can probably keep most of them. Whoever's got a contract that's about to run out, just let him go. Yeah. Um. Um. I, I would I would loan Maximan out to another club. I wouldn't sell him. I would loan him out, and then we go back up. I'll bring him back in. So right. I, I wouldn't sell him. Um. I know he's an empty and he doesn't pass the ball, but he's, he's unique. Um, I think I've called him a few just, things he, worse than a numpty at the minute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he just needs to. I don't know. It's true. I think, like, I think, 
I, I agree with I agree with me as well from Saudi. He said uh, I think I think he's better as a number ten, but he doesn't pass the ball. And if if he did have a brain, he'd be worth hundred million pounds. Mm -hmm. But he hasn't got a brain. I mean, we were all saying uh, that. How much would Maxi be worth? You know, we were saying that on Saturday. How much would he be worth if he had a finishing product? Um, yeah. I mean, you know, Ryan, we know you've got your feelings on ASM. Do you think if if we did get a bid, would you sell him? Only if it's like a quality replacement to come in. Like I've said in your streams, like if someone like Martinelli, I think, replaces ASM. He's got a brain, adds more goal. He has like goal contributions to him as well. I mean, to be fair, ASM, like I think he's got eight goal contributions this season, but you no, know, it could be way more if he actually had better decision making. So I think competition makes or breaks ASM this summer because I don't think we'll get a winner this uh this winter i think in the summer we'll definitely get like some marquee winner like a luis diaz or someone like a marinelli or maybe in the next few months there could be some like some future star kid that we sign from like south america that's like got all tricks and stuff and he could it's like what danielle said i think it's just competition for me for him he'll, he'll make or break him in my opinion he's too comfortable so you think Martinelli would be the player that would challenge him? Yes. It's so, somebody of that kind of yeah. ilk. Yeah. Alex, what do you reckon? I mean, Martinelli's a fantastic player, but I think I think I think it's way too harsh on ASM right now. I completely agree. He needs his brain. Uh, he needs to improve his decision making, but we need to see what he's going to play like in that finished squad with the transfers when the yeah. midfield's a bit stronger. When, mm -hmm. when there's a bit of transition up the pitch, he's not going to have three men on him all the time. Um, he's not going to have to do as many tricks to get space. He's just going to have more space. And then if he can improve himself as well with his decision-making, that might click a bit more. It might be less frustrating to watch. Um, I feel like we've got to let that happen first. Yeah. And if he still doesn't improve after all of those those things, then yeah, fine. We, we, can, we can move on. But... He needs a chance to play in a proper team instead of just having the emphasis on him. The thing is, as well, as we saw the best of ASM, too, when he was with Jetro Willem. So I think a consistent good left back that's playing all the time, that's fit, can make it. What's Who's that opening a pack of the crisps? <laughs> oh. What the hell is that noise? It's not me because I'm muted and unmuted. Yeah, I did. It's not me. Well, that's not me. me. That's not me. <clears throat> yeah, but anyways, like someone like Jamal Lewis, like if he could stay fit, I think it'll benefit ASM too. <laughs> yeah, and I mean ASM, he's got seven gold. Daniel, is your cat on your microphone by any chance? I blame Chippers. Nice, it's gone. No, nope, still on. there. Hang on, I'm gonna have to go through and test it, test all these. It's not Ruan because he's on mute. Oh, it's gone. Who was it? Chippers. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said, but, no, yeah, I've muted him. And it, it, it's somebody was on about Bruce. It's, um, well, he was playing better under Bruce. But yeah. two years under Bruce, he got seven goal contributions, seven goal contributions. And this year he's on eight. And we're only yeah. 20 games in. So if he, if he, as we all conclude, we all concur that he's been a bit underwhelming. So if he finishes the season on like 15 goal contributions and that's underwhelming ASM, <laughs> then if we can get yeah. him to click, then, oh, we, we just, uh, yeah, we definitely got to give him a chance. I'm sure ASM's XG is up too because the amount of times like he skies it over the net when there's opportunities as well. Uh, he's actually only three. He's got three XG, but he scored five. So he's actually overperforming his XG. Um, but that's because his goals are normally worldies. He, right, he yeah. score easy can goals. we, um, Alex, if you just explain to everybody what the XG is, because I still am going to so that's ex Expected goals is uh, the, the, the quality of the chance of the shot, like the distance from goal, how many players are between the shot. Um, and, and the goal, you know, goalkeeper position, it depends on all of those things. So, according to expected goals, St. Maximin should have scored about three goals this season, but he's actually got five. 
Um, and that's because the XG calculator thinks that his goals were incredible and they were un- they were unlikely to go in because when he scores, he scores fantastic goals. Yeah. Um, so players like him always, it's the skillful players always outperform their XG because they're always very intricate goals. Um, but yeah, it's just just how it is. Because goals against the Leeds, that was something like XG wouldn't predict either as well. Yeah, well. I mean, I mean, that's why Messi and Ronaldo were very difficult to predict for five, six, seven years because they just scored ridiculous goals and you mm-hmm. can't statistically track people that play like that. It's, it's impossible. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's interesting. Um, but, I mean, Ericsson, there's another one. I'd take him. He'd go right in our midfield. Yeah. yeah. Um, and listen, I know all this people have been saying that they're worried about him and, and stuff like that with what's going on with his heart and everything. But, listen... His Fantastic, top of the like best in the world surgeons have told him he's clean. To, he's clear to play football. Therefore, let him play. You know what I mean? He, you know, it's a it's a strange rule they've got in Italy, um, but it's not the same rule over here. Uh, and I think he could do a lot better than Brentford. That's just my yeah, opinion. Get but I, to have a word with him about. about yeah, having. yeah, would be nice. Would be very nice. He's the attacking midfielder we need in our team. Yeah. I think the Dan- I think the the coach of Brentford isn't he Danish though. That's the only rank thing. Yeah, they've might... got eight yeah. Danish players, I think, in the first yeah. team as well. But that as well. But the thing yeah. is, how much would it annoy yeah, Spurs? That'd be fucking well, hilarious. That's another option. It's probably linked with Brentford too, because that whole London uh, location, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the London thing. As that Aston Villa striker would say. Gabby, uh, yeah, that that. Um, that... Ew. Him, yeah. Um, Barbara says, I heard Chelsea are going in for Eki Teki as well. There's a, listen, PSG are interested in him as well. So, you know, he's, he's not... Uh... Where would he play for Chelsea, like? <laughs> he's a striker. Well, I know, I know, I know. And that's the thing. I, I, I don't know where he'd play. Um, I'm just going to test Chippers' his mic because... Uh... No, that's dreadful. Yeah. <laughs> uh... We'll let him sort that out. We've got Graham coming in. Graham, good evening. He's, 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 he's you're right, Graham. Phones off. Graham, you're on. You're live. <laughs> How are you doing? He's moving as slow as our squad. <laughs> Graham, are you speaking to us or not? Orc calling Mawson. Come in, now he's on mute. <laughs> Graham. I think he's trying to fix it. You can see him. Yeah. Sorting it out. Graham, you're on mute. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not going on. I'll let you sort that out, Graham. But I uh, love this fan for me. <laughs> 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 I, I know how radio hosts feel now. You know when they say hello it. and then they just get nothing, and it's just like, who's out there? Is anybody <laughs> out there? Speak to me. <laughs> I didn't really want to sound like Dale Witten there, but I did. <laughs> Welcome to Supermarket Sweep. <laughs> You're off your trolley. Uh, sorry? You're off your trolley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't find you funny anymore, Dublin. I don't know what it is. Uh, James says, I have, signed, I have a signed signature of Rafa holding a tune top. I also think his time has passed. We move on. Yeah, uh, we don't want him back. No. Mm-mm. Diego Carlos is... will be the last few days of the window. Sevilla trying to milk more cash. No, I think it'll be 48 hours, mate. Uh, it's in the bag, but for now, look to other signings. Uh, Alan says, guys, guys, this is a long-term venture. I don't want relegation, but the last 14 years have been a disgrace. It's just great we are linked with these players. The owners have been great. Stay calm. Alan should be one of them that, that does like a podcast on a night time to send you to sleep because he he's seems like, like the, chilled, isn't he? The, the chilled, calm and influence. He could, he could just say, good evening. I am Alan and I am going to put you into the biggest sleep you've ever had. So ASMR, ASMR. Well, whatever you, whatever floats your boat, Ryan, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ramsey deal taking a while to get traction again. Yep, yeah, because we think he's going to Palace. Um, indeed, R.I.P. Chris, aka the Greek Geordie. Um, who's just gone there? Uh, Peter. Danielle. 
Right, we'll try. No, Daniel's uh, Daniel's obviously oh. sorting that cut out again. We'll try Graham again. Are you there, Graham? <laughs> Graham, your mic is muted. Just to hold up a sign. Can you hear me? He can hear me. Yep. I know he can. Can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Uh, no. Well, you try it. You're looking like a bloody pigeon walking down the high street, and next minute I can sit here. Yeah. Yeah. Mute. 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 What? Two seconds. That's... Now he's out of sync. He's partly out of sync. I'll try and bring you back a bit later. <coughs> I've no idea what's going on on the show anymore. Madness, isn't it? Like, oh, just, dear me. Everyone's nuts. Uh, I'm just, I'm just getting well. lots of swear words from Graham in the chat, but uh, never mind. Uh, Morgul says, sadly, I think Botman will be a summer transfer when we stay up in the beginning of the true rebirth of the sleeping giant. Oh, See, yeah, baby. Oh, so... I, feel much, I feel much better now. You know, it's further. It's like because we're further away from last Saturday and not yes. close enough yet to this Saturday, I think we're in like the positivity <laughs> zone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, not like an hour after the game where we're all raging. Yeah, we start, to, <laughs> we, we start to feel like pre-Watford again, you know, just sort of, yes, <laughs> yeah. come on. We go I'm worried for my predictions now. Optimistic. And then 4 1 win at least, and then we get turned over 6 0 or something. You just know it's going to happen again. Oh, it's painful, man. No, uh, um, Tony says, Eki Techie, Eki Techie Techno. Eki Techie. Uh, Jack, good evening to you. Hope you and Emma are okay, buddy. Uh, Carlos would be a great sign and time to drop the cells. Absolutely. Yes. Well, Amen to that. Uh, Paul, you know, Mario Balotelli could be a cult hero or a disaster. What's mm. your thoughts? We're um, having a laugh, Paul. You're having a laugh. Paul. You're having a laugh. Uh, I'm pretty sure Denver Bar had better stats disaster. recently in the Super League, and he's got worse stats than him. So. Paul, don't say you can drop a bomb, are you? You're not going to tell us that your HP said Balotelli, are you? No. That's all right, then. Whew. No. No. And if he did say that, I wouldn't tell anybody anyway because it would it would make them worry and not sleep. I <laughs> uh, think Balotelli was coming into the club, which is uh, just something we don't want, guys, is it? No. 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 Uh, Wendy says, our owners are doing their absolute utmost to keep us up. First time this has happened in almost 15 years. I'm truly grateful, Paul. As am Same. I, Wendy. As am Same. I. Yes. Which I don't understand these people coming along going, uh, when Eddie what are the club was... doing? Yeah, what are the club doing? There's no movement going on. Like exactly. Well, how do we know? know? We don't need to tell us who they're going for. I mean, there is. Oh They've just got twenty notes. It's not their fault. They're trying. How do folk do we not know, man? Something going on in the background, man. You know what I mean? Just let them, leave them to it. Exactly. For God's yeah. sake. Yeah. Well said. No news is good news, almost in a way. Um. Nigel says OBE will have a point to prove. Uh, could be a coup for us and a partner for ASM. Who's, Who's OBE? OBE. Aubameyang. Oh, or... uh, yeah. OBE. 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 Yeah. Well, yeah. My head went for Oberton yeah. for a second then. Oberfemi, <laughs> <laughs> Mark. Except Oberfemi there. Oberfemi. Listen, Oberfemi's probably only 27 now, so we could probably get him back. <laughs> 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 he was 19 when we signed him, wasn't he? Jesus Christ. Um, Stu says, uh, holy shit, RIP, Chris. Uh, another member of the Toon family gone too soon, indeed. Way too soon, man. Indeed. Um, in five years, when challenging for Premier League champions and Champions League winners, and we are the new Man City of PSG, what players will be shouting about as the best £100 million players at the moment will be old? Well, then time will change. Yeah, either that or we'll be on the list. Over, so... I don't know, Mbappe is not going to be old, and Haaland's not going to be old in five yeah. years. They're, yeah. they're going to be in their prime. And also, they're not on the list. And maybe well, we could get Daniel Farker as manager. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Hey, you think transfer fees will be ridiculous by that point? Like, yeah, over in, in, in five years, uh, Jack Holback will be 100 million. <laughs> <laughs> you leave the ginger Pearl alone, he's doing a good job at Nottingham Forest. Play left wing back at the moment. Yeah, he was instrumental really? in their win over Arsenal in the FA Cup, guys. Let's not forget that. Instrumental. Um, Sean, uh, I don't think he's English. Sean Skeepers. That sounds very Scandinavian to me. 
Um, oh, I think so many have forgotten where we came from. Let's not be those fans. Patience and a bit of humility. Exactly. Yes. yes. Yeah. Well said. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're just coming kind of the it. evening so far. That we're one. Not, we're, we're, in, we're in Shit's Creek right now. We'll get out of it, and then all the teams will pray for. As the pe people effect. think we are, though. That's the problem. Very true. Very true. Uh, Shearer sixty nine says Dublin Dave needs a fire extinguisher. That vape is above his voice when he's sucking <laughs> on it. Yeah, Dave. You what? know when you take a take a drawer on your vape bed, can you just turn away from your microphone? <laughs> there you go. You can do it. You see. There you go. Still looks like he's coming out of a horror movie. Doesn't it? He, he, <laughs> he, he, he did that fine. <laughs> jump out of shot. If he no, does the vape I mean, right. given given how Dublin Dave looks, you know, with his video, with his bald head, his his very strange eyes, and <laughs> yeah, his look. beard that is thicker than Santa Claus, <laughs> oh, like, it looks like a horror film out the fog when he reappears through his veil. He's gonna hop off. Video the similar to that, but it was a bit different. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, Louis, I don't know what videos you've been watching, mate. Uh, uh, that, that worries me. We'll not go any further with that. Dave, you're gonna um, hotbox your apartment. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, front we'll says we will it. sign Brerett and Diaz. Mark my words. Oh, I won't take him. Why? Take he's just him. A, he's a stat pattern in the championship and against South American teams. I've seen him in Copa America. I just I don't know. Not for me. Says a Canadian. <laughs> what? You guys well, won't Ryan... watch Copa America because it'd be like three in the morning. It's like seven my time. Like I, can't I also watch. don't I watch Copa America because it. <laughs> yeah, you eat well, beaver. I watched it actually. Yeah. Well, oh, nice. Was... Okay. Yeah, you're yeah. one of the f very rare ones. The one Listen, percentage. Copa, nobody watches Copa America because there's only like what two decent teams in it, and the rest are pants. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't wake so up for it. I just couldn't sleep. That's the only reason I watched it, but oh, I did yeah. watch it. So basically, what Alex is saying is watching, uh, watching that is a yeah, cure for insomnia. Burton Diaz will just stat pad against Bolivia and like Paraguay, where Maggie plays. I think it was Chris Wood or somebody like that. I don't think it's going to be Chris Wood yeah. and one of those signings. Yeah, uh, it'd we'll be see. interesting to see. Um, Danielle, who is going to stop Jack Harrison on Saturday? Yeah, he was a monster against um, West Ham, wasn't he? Mm. Depends, yeah. doesn't it? Or we'll be Karen um, Trippier. Yeah. He scored that worldie Kieran against Trippier. us last time we played um, it. Definitely won't be Jamal Lascelles. Jesus Christ, he couldn't stop a blooming... Bus? I don't even know. Couldn't stop nothing. Couldn't stop fresh air, that kid. Um, yeah, it's a worldie, man. I don't, I don't want to talk about, I don't want to talk about Leeds, man. Like, I'm, I'm in a good mood right now. <laughs> I mean, like the positivity uh, zone. I want to see Danielle's face when um, Diego Carlos comes in and the first team sheet is Carlos next to Lascelles. Well, it will oh. be, won't it? <laughs> yeah, That's going to be horrifying. You, you know for a fact it's it's going to be. Chesre's in the house, modern away. Chesre. Uh, sorry, I'm late. He's working nights. We're going to have to discuss your contract, Chesre. Uh, <laughs> Eddie Howe has shown his tactical mastery. His players have repeatedly let him down. Oh, shut up. Well... No, well, what I think he's trying to say there is that he's Eddie the Howe, there. it's the players letting Eddie Howe down. Eddie Howe is setting yeah, up yeah, the yeah, yeah, properly. Yeah. Um, so, uh, public apology from uh, Louis to Zachary, please. <laughs> I apologise. There you go. I read the comment wrong. You Fair did. enough. Even though you're wearing glasses Sinclair. like me, you still did it wrong. Um, you, yeah. have, you, my son, have had the first Sinclair of the evening, um, even though I've had two already. Uh, listen, <laughs> I, I think, you know... Is it a case of the players have let him down, Roy, or is it a case of the players aren't good enough? Which one is it? Well, they're not good enough. Um, and they have let him down. Um, but the thing is, like, if you look at um, Longstaff, you, you, that's it. That's, uh, that's all he's got. Yeah. He, he's, not, he's never going to improve. We've waited four years now, and I think we've seen the best of him. He's never going to improve. Um, well so, said. If we blame. Yeah, so... That's the poor kid. I know it looks like he's trying his best, but his best is rubbish. Yeah. So, the sales um, is not far off as well. Craig comes out with a very interesting point. I think he's he's trying to say this in the kindest possible way. Uh, Rafa is a sausage. Can't believe anyone wants him back after his last two jobs. That's what I said. I think yeah. he, he, he'll find it very difficult because people will have been seriously put off by his last two jobs, Daniel. I don't think he's a sausage. Well, I mean... He, he doesn't look like a sausage, I guess, but... I don't you know. It's a ham roll. 
Yeah. He's a ham yeah. roll. Like yeah. He's not going to do anything <laughs> anyway. Yeah, He's, it's just I don't even think the options there now. I think we need to respect the manager we've got, and let's not yep. um, start saying right we're going to bring hit this person in and this person in. Especially Rafa, like it's yeah. done, it's dusted, and I'm pleased he won't be coming back to St James's Park. Um, however, I'm also displeased that that Everton are going to be on the new manager bounce. Yeah. So if there's a new manager in by that time, well, um, well, you say that, but uh, judging by the Everton fans' response to them going in for Martinez again, um, who, by the way, can I just point out that the Everton ooh, fans yeah. protested to be sacked? Oh, and well, now, do you know yeah. what it is? It saves them a job later, doesn't it? Well, so they've already got the banners. I can't made. see that happening. I think you'll want to be <laughs> the one go. Belgium head coach with the World Cup coming up. I mean, that's like us bringing Joe yeah. Kinnear back. Christ, <laughs> that's not going to happen. You know, Can I mean, you it's, it's, it's bizarre. Um, Chippers, I kind of get you back on, mate. It, it, I'm trying to click back on you, and it's just saying that you're not connected to anything. I can see you. Well, Unfortunately, might be a I can. But it, I don't know what's going on with his connection. Mm. Oh, dear me, Chippers. Uh, oh, God. Hello, Archer. Hello. How Hi, are you doing? Archer. Yeah, 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 not too bad. Uh, you've got some very high hair going on there, mate. You got a bit of a fringe. No, I'm just um, growing it to be fair. Well, you're going for the perm look now, are you? Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Peter, welcome back from somewhere yeah, it in, just... the, in the sticks. <laughs> um, I don't know what's going on with Chippers, he's gone. Oh, he's vanished. Okay, <laughs> um. I don't know what people's connections are going mental. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, he could be. Uh, what's the latest on Eki Teki? Heard Chelsea are trying to hijack the deal. Nobody's trying to hijack any deal what? at the minute because there's, there's, there's no kind of deal at the minute because um, there is teams interested, uh, but I don't think anybody's put a formal bid in. W would you go for Eki Teki, Pete? Um, why not? I think it would be a decent backup because, again, Chris Wood is. We've already got him. Um, so, uh, and of course, Wilson's out injured, and Gail's not going to look in. So, why not? Uh, we've got a bit of extra backup in there as well. Archer, have you got your phone on vibrate again? No. Mm, mm. Is that you again, Peter? Mm, no. Mm, one mm. of you on the bottom. Mm, I no stuff in on me. On. Listen, it only starts going <laughs> when Archer comes on. <laughs> uh, Nigel says the Premiership has evolved. Don't think Rafa has progressed since his Liverpool days. Kind of agree with that. Yes, uh, I, I would I think say Rafa's so. now one of those outdated managers. Uh, Archer, would you bring Rafa back? No, nah, me too. Yeah, and why wouldn't you? Hey, he's had his time. He's had his time at Newcastle. That was there's no second chances. Uh, Eddie Howe needs a, needs a chance. He's only just arrived, like in November. He needs a chance. Yeah, definitely agree. Uh, there's about 10, 15 minutes left of the show, but I uh, give a quick shout out to the Tune Review sponsors, who are Geordie Riffs, Professional Guitar Repairs and Servicing. Uh, anything you need for your guitar um, issues, or you need a guitar, or you want to learn to play guitar, uh, these guys are based in the Northeast. Uh, Graham and Natalie, fantastic. Uh, company, go and give them a shout. Uh, the website is linked below in the description, um, and also they are available on Facebook and have a Twitter account as well. Uh, you'll get 10% off your first uh, setup of a guitar or your first repair, or you also get your first lesson free if you quote the tune review. So go and give them a shout. Uh, brilliant, brilliant Northeast based company. Um, right. What about Mackie Longstaff, says Chloe? How long do we talk about the long staffs for, Rowan? Uh, can we skip that? Next question. <laughs> I love how he said that. <laughs> I mean, I, I've just had enough of them, to be honest. Like they've, they just get away with it because they're obviously Geordies, and obviously you wanted them to do well. But how many chances have they had now? And they're just not good enough. Yeah, Simple it's not far too many. Listen, I, I mean, look, I've had me say on 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 Sean. I, I believe Matty, Matty was basically um, sent back. I mean, his, his loan was terrible for Aberdeen, and let's face it, he was playing in the pub league. 
Um, mm. And if, if he couldn't do it there, right, then really he, he's not going to do it. And I think the long staffs, really for their own benefit, I think should find new clubs. Um, yeah. Yeah. I can't see a future for them. And I'm not being disrespectful to them. I think anybody who, who has seen them play recently will say, right, Newcastle, certainly in the summer, providing they stay up, are going to be buying a lot of players, right? Practically a whole new team, mm-hmm. right? So where would the long stars fit into this you know, new team? They're not going to fit in anywhere. So I think no. it's best that they do leave. Um, yeah. Danielle, what do you make of that stat that came on uh, Twitter earlier? Uh, I think it was yesterday that um, last time we played Villa in the championship was September 2016. Seven of the players in that starting lineup for Newcastle are still at the club. Villa players that started that day are no longer there. None of them. Mike Ashley. Yeah. The absolute leech that he was. And he just didn't care. He wasn't bothered. As long as he was getting his telly money so that he could go and buy another shop. That's all he was bothered about. Plastering his, his sports brand all over the stadium, making as much out of as he could. Um, it's not a surprise to me. You can tell if I'm looking at the team. Mm-hmm. That, that that's the case um, and that's why we haven't oh, drop me mic um, that's why we haven't moved on and that's why we haven't we can't, we're can't. we in the position that we're in now so you know in, in terms of the rebuild it starts now doesn't it? So let's start shipping these out and, and, and all, bringing people in Yeah and also the stat that uh, we have thrown away <laughs> 21 points from winning positions yeah, this season yeah. for that Also we've, we've scored we've conceded 11 goals in the last 15 minutes of a game Auto job capitulation yeah. FC. Yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of us were saying that at the weekend, weren't we? Saying, you know, bottle job United. Um, yeah, yeah. Alex, true. those stats don't make good reading, do they really? Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit skewed based on the the fact that Villa had a very old squad around that time. You know, they, they signed the Yedinax and they had Terry in. They had Abraham in on loan from Chelsea. They had a lot of, they had a weird squad around that time. Um, I, I think I went to see them Um play Ipswich in the championship and they, they had some weird players on the you know, starting 11 um, but this it still holds true we we haven't refreshed enough um, if Lascelles had have come come good he's a, he's a decent age to be in his prime for a centre-back but it's not worked out um, the rest of the centre-backs Fernandes is still good but he's getting on yeah it's there, there just wasn't enough investment there needed to be some rotation and more investment in the last three to four years and it's just not they went in heavy with Joe Linton and Almiron fees um, when it possibly with the money he was willing to spend, it probably should have been used a bit more in a bit more balanced way throughout the squad. Um, and it went top heavy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's it's a terrible statistic. And the second one about, yeah, we were hoping that the fitness would stop the conceding late on. And the fitness has improved, but we're still conceding late on. But it's because of just... It's just mentality too. Judgment. Yeah, yeah, it's mentality. It's not the fitness. We thought maybe that would help it, but it's not. It's just mistakes. Um, again, from people like Clark and Lascelles. Um, there's been a few others at fault as well, but mostly from them too. Yeah. Um, apparently, it's one-one between Brighton and Chelsea at the minute. Amen. Already. Apparently, it's full time. But some uh, good news. Uh, Gates at the top of the National League North. Oh, they won tonight, have they? Down the heat. Four one, four one the against uh, uh, Telford in the top now. Have you got just You've got you. You're wearing it. Yes, I've got it on. Heed, heed, oh. said with so much ensu- enthusiasm there, Archer. <laughs> 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 wow. Uh, Chaos Gaming says we need to replace Jamal Lascelles. He's absolutely shocking. He is the worst defender I have ever seen. I think that uh, the worst defender. Oh, I've, I've seen the worst. Oh, he's he's not good enough. Well, I've, I've seen the worst. We've got a yeah. like, uh, song, Well, song, you know, I mean, like Boom Song, Titus Bramble, <laughs> Marcelino, Sol Campbell. Yeah. He's going to be the next Grant Hanley. He's... Listen, let's oh, not slag gosh. off Grant Hanley here. He was fantastic for us in the championship. Played all of about nine games and was a rock. But he's one of them that's too good for the championship and not good enough for the Prem. I think that's what Lascelles is going to become for the rest yeah. of his career. He's yeah. going to be one of those up-down centre-backs. Well, like a um, Mitro level of player, basically. 
Kind of, yeah, defense. where he's, and Gale. There's a lot, we've got a lot of them where they don't quite fit, where they need a league in between the Championship and the Prem that doesn't exist. Yeah. Uh, Steven says a new t-shirt for the merch should be uh, Paul's new shirt. I'm fluent in everything. Yeah, better ship overseas, Paul. Don't worry, Ryan. I have you covered, <laughs> Matty. <laughs> you have to pay for it, though. But the, the, the mods are getting very special mugs, I believe. Uh, Susan's working on them. Um, Why, so I've they seen... can drink their cup of tea while modding? Yeah, I've se well, I've, I've also seen the co-host ones. I've seen Danielle's and I've seen uh, Alex's. Reveal um, it. Depends but... if we lose or not. Might need something stronger in the mugs. Yeah. Exactly. Hundred percent. Um, I need some yeah, so, listen, I've seen, I've seen hoodies, I've seen t-shirts, I've seen bobble hats, um, COVID masks, um, car stickers. Uh, what else is there? Uh, children's t-shirts as well. Um, with me running away from a T-Rex, I, I don't know why, but it, 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 why not? let's just roll with it, guys. Let's why? just roll with it. What? Um, but yeah, there, there is some very good stuff ago. on the way. I just don't know where to sell it. Is the T-Rex Steve Bruce? He's a dinosaur. Well, unfortunately, he's not. Uh, but uh, you know that that was, uh, Listen now, I, I don't want to. You know, Steve Bruce, right? Um, and I, I think I got wrong off Peter Beardsley this afternoon or tonight, um, because if, if I haven't too much of a go at um, at Steve Bruce, so I do apologise, Peter, if you're watching. Um, he's he had faith that, that that you know Steve Bruce could still do a job with these guys, and then that's. That, various different opinions i mean look at the same time right we're in the situation we're in and we've got to get out of it now it doesn't matter who's managing my football club at the time i want to see us get get out of the crap we're in and i believe firmly believe that eddie Howe will get us out of the crap that we're in no doubt in my mind mm -hmm. at all um i mean the question is we've got leads coming up at the weekend and it's not going to be a very easy game so now to finish the show it's prediction time. Oh, no, no. Now, bearing in mind that I think we all went for what for, uh, Newcastle wins last week. Did anyone go for anything else? I went for a win. Everybody what? went for uh, a win last sure week. Someone said there, was, one. there was one person who said uh, American Steve. He said, um, yes, yeah, he, did. He, he, did. Did. he said a loss. Yeah, he, he said he couldn't see anything but a 1-0 Watford win, which is fair enough. He wasn't <laughs> far away, to be fair. Uh, Peter, we'll start with you. Scoreline. Um, and remember, right, right. before you give us a scoreline, let's just, we'll give a scoreline prediction of the team as it is right now because we don't know. We, we, obviously, if we say, oh, well, Carlos is going to play, we'll go for this, but we don't know. So that's predicting fate, and I'm not into that shit. So um, <laughs> let's just stick to the team we've got now. If we're sticking with the team we've got now... I think it could be two one leads. Only two one. Well, I, I, okay. I mean, I mean, we're defending. It's it's just rotten completely. And if we persist, if it doesn't sort it out, we're going to concede more goals again. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, right, Peter. Thanks for coming on, buddy. Uh, no I'll problem. catch you later on in the week, bud. No problem. See you later. Take care. Archer. Hello. Well, hello, mate. Uh, it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go on the opposite. I want Newcastle to win, win a game. Well, I think so we all want to... Newcastle. I don't to win think a game, you're the only one. You just had a Sinclair. So I'm going. Yeah, I want. I'm, I'm going two on Newcastle. Two one Newcastle, and who's going to score? Uh. Probably Chris Wood and Ryan Fraser. Ooh. Fraser, interesting. Right, thanks for coming on, matey, and enjoy growing your hair for the rest of the week. Bye. Uh, catch you later. Night, mate. Let's go. Dublin Magpie. How was it going? Uh, I think it will be 2-1 as well, Chris Wood, but Joe Linton. That was well. my prediction. Right. Can I just ask, Dave, what gives you the impression from that performance on Saturday that Chris Wood is going to score? And He's in the danger so zone. I've already told you this. Old, the danger zone. Old club. And what about Joe Linton? 
he's due a goal. You nearly got two last week, so. Fair enough. Yeah, I agree with that. Right, well, thanks for coming on, matey, and thanks for spending a bit of time in the penalty box tonight, but you did deserve it. Um, <laughs> take birthday, care, and we'll bro. see you next week, pal. Best of luck, mate. Best of luck. Take a look. There he goes. Uh, Roy. Hit me. <laughs> um, after I, I, I watched Leeds as well last weekend. Um, if we play the same way we did last weekend and they do the same, mm-hmm. we're going to get battered. Yeah, yeah. So, um, sadly, I think even if we get Carlos, they're going to dictate the midfield. Even the best defenders in the world are not going to handle pressure for 90 minutes. Yeah. So we need we need a midfielder. Longstaff is not good enough. Shelby is lazy and slow. So. Uh-huh. I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go three one leads unfortunately Ooh. probably mm. probably Joe Linton to score the goal. But, Fair enough. Yeah, right. One. Let's well, ho- let's hope for... I'm wrong. Though. Well, I hope you are to be honest, mate. But I, you know I have a <laughs> I feeling that you're not. <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks for coming on, buddy, and uh, get well thanks, soon, lads. mate. Get rid of the COVID, and we'll speak to you next week. Cheers, mate. Take Cheers, it easy, bud. Good night, Louis. I was going to say 2-1, but I've changed my mind. Um, I'm not <laughs> optimistic. <laughs> I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw I'm going with. So on the fence, you are sitting? Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Who's going to score? Uh, Joe Linton's due a goal. And then probably Harrison from Leeds. Okay. Right, thanks for coming on, matey. And uh, no I'll see you at some point on World of Sport, but uh, hopefully back on here next week. Take yeah, care, bud. Good See night. You. Louis has the most... Well, I don't think he was very motivated. <laughs> he just <laughs> sounded like he was like, oh, I don't want to talk anymore. Bless him. Bless him. Rowan, fill us all with, fill, fill us all with confidence. You know what? I'm gonna. Fr- I think it will be a high-scoring game because both teams have defensively. What eight nil the leads? No, nah, we're gonna go for. I'm gonna push the boat out. I'm gonna say three-two Newcastle. Right. Can I just explain to everybody, <laughs> right? Who I don't know whether you, many people have seen Newcastle in the last few weeks. We can't score more than one goal. That's more out of hope than anything. But I think. If we could play our game and get on set pieces like with Trippier and with wood, like Wood in the box, like Leeds yeah. are so susceptible to set pieces. Like if we can get plenty of them, I think we'll get goals. But it's obviously if we. But if I'm realistic, I'll probably say a two-two. But I think I think I do, I, one of our centre backs will score. Joe Linton and yeah. Chris Wood will get the goals. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Right, get yourself back on next week, Ron, and hopefully yeah, we'll, we'll be do. celebrating that victory. Take care, mate. <laughs> See you later, lot. Ryan, you're the last one to give a prediction because uh, the other two can't give their prediction till the preview on Thursday. So hit us with your glory. That didn't I'm going like all out. 4-3 Newcastle. 4-3? I think ASM's going to run right at that game. Two goals. Chris Wood will get a goal. And, we're doing uh, it again, you know. Joel, we're doing Joel it again. And, I know. Yeah, I think no. we'll go. We'll go two 0 up at halftime. We'll go two two in the second half, and then we'll score two more goals. And Leeds will score. I don't third. know where this optimism is coming from. Yeah, how's I don't ASM know where the goals are coming from. It's just. I think it's just because Leeds, like, they remind me of like a team where like they'll just press you all the way and like they'll leave space in behind. I feel like we'll just. We'll have all the time, and I just think ASM is just. I think this yeah, they, is the they game are where he comes alive. To, to concede goals as a way, so it could be. I mean, you know, exactly. Theory, That's if you look at both three. defenses, yeah, it could be. It could be. Uh, well, let's hope you're right, uh, Ryan. Take care, matey, and I'll speak to you soon. Yeah, take care, guys. Right, so that is fan forum over for another week. Um, Alex and Danielle, uh, we'll have to get your predictions uh, on Thursday, so we might be in a better position to give a better prediction, given that we'll probably have the new signers to give our predictions with, if indeed we do bring them in. Did you just um, pluralise so... that? You did. Signings. Yeah, you did. Oh, hopefully. Shh, shh. Nobody's watching. Just told you to. <laughs> Quiet. Listen, hopefully we will. I mean, if we do, if we can bring in... 
look, Carlos hopefully will be in. And if it's if it's a Bamiyang, I'll be bouncing. I really will. I mean, I'll just be. Um, it, it'll be fantastic. Uh, but the, the thing is, we still need more. In my opinion, we still need to shore up that midfield for a start. Um, so maybe if they get these two in this week, we'll start looking again after the Leeds game at, at, at the midfield because we need to tackle that area. Um, but listen, thank you guys for joining the fan forum. Uh, Alex and Danielle will be back with me on uh, Thursday night at 8.30 for the match preview of the game. Uh, I will be doing a live watch along on, tu- on Tuesday, on Saturday for the game. I'll be starting at 2.30, so uh, come and join me for that. Uh, And I will try a bit of commentary, so you never know. Um, We'll see how that goes. Uh, So do join me for that. And I think we'll be doing a review show, possibly on Saturday night straight after the game. But I'll... um... I'll, I'll get in touch with you two about that and see what you think. Uh, I might be fuming by then, though. Well, that's the whole point. That's the, that's a good thing about doing it straight after the game, Danielle. It's it's mm. it's passion, heart on sleeve stuff. It's mm. real. You know what mm-hmm. I mean. So, and, and it's very funny when you're in a bad mood after a game because you know. You, <laughs> Thanks. Well, no, you, you know what I mean. I mean, the the, the viewers mm-hmm. like to see rants, you know, and then okay. and so there's no better the rant than you when you've had enough of the football, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, well, thank you everybody for tuning in tonight and putting all your comments in and having good conversation as usual. Uh, if you have enjoyed the show, please do hit the like button for us. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to uh, consider subscribing and consider becoming a member of the Tune Review. Uh, the join and subscribe buttons are right next to each other. Um, and we will see you on Wednesday night for the next live show. Uh, unless, well, there's probably going to be some transfer shows, daily news shows. Uh, but one of the main shows is, of course, the preview, which will be Thursday night at 8.30. Thank you for watching. Good night, all. <laughs>